ATA CMS missiles disrupted Russia's plans for a full occupation of Luhansk region. ATA CMS missiles with cluster munition capabilities that Ukraine has received from the US will not be able to do much damage to Russian armored vehicles. Forbes writes. The addition notes that in the ATA CMS modification, shipped by Washington, around a thousand grenade-sized sub-munitions are scattered after detonation, which in most cases cannot cause serious damage to a tank or other armored vehicle. As US Army Major James Hutton explained, Upon impact and detonation, each grenade breaks up into a large number of high-velocity steel fragments that are effective against targets such as truck tires, missile rounds, thin-skinned vehicles and radar antennas. But according to a spokesperson for the Eastern Group of Troops, Ilya Yevlash, the long-range ATA CMS missiles, with which the Ukrainian Defense Forces have successfully targeted the Russia's airfields, significantly change the rules of the game as now the Russians are forced to move their depots and airbases as far as possible from the front. According to him, Russia has not given up on the complete occupation of the Luhansk region and this direction remains a priority for the enemy. However, ATA CMS missiles will complicate the supply of occupational forces and disrupt their logistics. The arrival of such a powerful weapon as ATA CMS is a significant game-changer much like the earlier HIMARS and later Patriot systems, Yevlash noted. The spokesperson stated that this long-range weapon obtained by the Ukrainian Defense Forces would force the occupiers to extend their depots and command posts, leading to increased decision-making time and distance from the battlefield. Yevlash notes that the occupiers will be forced to spend time searching for new locations for their depots, resulting in a significant burden on their logistical system.